Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another One Piece uh, discussion. Today we'll be discussing, um, very briefly, uh, chapter 1025 of the series, uh, the current manga chapter, and today I think it's uh, something it w uh, pretty interesting to discuss the bit of the Oni part of it. Um, last week, I don't know if anyone's seen the video, uh, if you did, I do appreciate that, and uh, if you haven't, then I would suggest uh, watching that for my Yamato flashback analysis, um, and that, uh, some of that stuff is actually relevant, and also, I did say that I will be focusing only on one portion of the chapters from now on. Uh, I do, uh, the cover story, or the cover, uh, art looks really great, uh, too, with this, with this, uh, week with the whole popularity poll, uh, finishing up with that whole big panel scan, really cool looking, um, I did briefly want to mention that the, I love everyone's reaction on the live floor, um, but really to get into the meat of this, uh, we don't really have a ton of information on Kaido as a character. Um, so anytime we get any information like we did last week, uh, I think it's very important. And I think it's a really great chapter to take a break at because we've been getting these chapters nonstop, really. Um, this chapter is really important because it, it really does sig signify what it means exactly to be um, an Oni of some sort. Um, we barely have just touched the very surface of Kaido as a character and the, the Oni tribe. But from what I've read in the fan translation and the Korean uh, raw scan, um, it does seem to me that the Oni race or ancient giant race um, seem to have been prosecuted by uh, humans, you know, maybe used as slaves, um, as we've seen uh, other races. Um, but it's kind of a mystery because they're not like giants. Um, Kaido has this innate just hatred for humans when he says, uh, you know, being friends with a human is, is below you. Um, so, again, as I talked about in the last video, somebody had to have taught Kaido this. He had to experience this trauma um, firsthand. Otherwise, what's the point? It's the same thing when he says the lines... You know, in chapter, I think it was 988 or something, when he was talking about how pirates betray others. Um, they always betray you. And when I read that line, I was thinking, this is Kaido speaking from experience, and this is again. And, you know, this might not really matter in the long term, because it's just some, something that villains just say. It's like when Dol Flamingo said he was a celestial dragon. But when you're really, really pissed, you know, you're going to say something that uh, you know, brings traumatic stuff up. So I hope that at some point we get a very small flashback, um, like we did with Doflamingo, you know, where we see the, f the formation of his crew or whatever. I, I think we need to see a very small, you know, just a small version of that with Kaido, um, you know, after Rocks, obviously, because it seems like Oda doesn't want to show us Rocks, but we need to know uh, what makes him tick. What's with the whole Oni thing? Uh, why, why is it that Yamato should be, you know, suppressing humans? Is that why that, you know, Kaido chose to go to Wano? Specifically, did Wano persecute Oni? Like, these are the questions I have. Um, but what really means being an Oni is this character that um, you have to always be strong. We also kind of get more of Kaido calling um, Yamato his son, even though at this point she's kind of made it clear, like, mm, not really. <laughs> so, I... I, or maybe she, I don't know, I don't know, that whole thing is still unbelievably not cleared up, um, <laughs> as it was last week, as someone pointed it out to me, um, but yeah, the only thing is really important when it comes to actual combat, because it seems like the only thing that matters is fight, and, and, and he's willing to kill his own, you know, daughter for this, so I wonder if maybe Kaido's, you know, his family tried to do this to him, and, like, they tried to kill him just because, you know, I mean, it's like, that's what Onis do, only the strong live, and all that kind of stuff, but the other thing I wanted to get into was, you know, Yamato's relation to this, it's like, you have Oni blood in you, and all this, and Yamato's like, you know, I've had, I have had friends, I've had friends in the past, and all that, this is a very strong line, because we see this ace pitcher, and then we see, like, you know, Later on, we see Luffy showing up and Momo. 
which are really at this point her some of her only friends that she has as an alliance. You know, she did have that run in with Frankie, but it wasn't very long. Um, <clears throat> so I, I do think that Yamato, it, it, totally crazy character, right? This character that has seemingly been an 11th hour character has come out of nowhere. Uh, that is now related to Kaido. Um, pretty much, he confirms this at this point that they are related by blood, which was something I wondered in last week's uh, uh, issue or chapter, whatever you want to call it. And it's true. Uh, he says that that's what you are as an Oni. So we actually have two confirmed Oni race people, which is really important. And uh, also, the combat in this is just, you know. Maybe that's why he uses the club too, but I just love this combat sequence when they just, you know, they, they clash with their, their clubs and then she like breaks out of this like kind of an ice thing. I'm assuming it's kind of, you know, she's got this icy theme with her dog, mythical Zoan thing, and it kind of breaks down and then she kind of does this jump over him and then just kind of tries to, tries to land another hit. That doesn't work, and I just love her reaction. You know, she's, like, holding her own, and then she's going to do this divine step thing, and you can see, like, Conqueress or, like, Armin, Ryo coming off of her club. Then she kind of tries to, like, come in for, like, the kind of, you know, kill again. And a lot of people have been saying that if she does join the crew, is she going to be stronger than Zoro? I don't really think that's the case. I think she's just holding him off, and that's all she can do while Zoro actually wounded Kaido. But that wound doesn't seem to do shit. It, it seriously has done nothing. But anyways, uh, she comes in with the club and she realizes, oh, the Luffy's here. Luffy's able to use Snake Man really easily. So I think these things are very, very important um, to consider. You know, moving forward is just how strong, how much stronger Luffy is now. But I would love to actually see Kaido just get pissed and like pin all three of them down at some point and just say like, just start spouting off about, like, being an Oni. What does an Oni mean? His time when he was a slave, you know? I don't know. <laughs> anything, anything, really. I'm just dying to know any information about Kaido. Because he just... At this point, he's a very static villain. He's only doing things that are evil for kind of vague uh, evil sake. Um, and I just would really like to know more about what's going to happen. Uh, in the future with this new race and this new information so if you guys had any question if you guys had any insight into uh this race of newer race of onis that have just been kind of sprouted on us uh, i'd love to hear it and uh well i'll see you guys till next time bye, -bye.